Black holes, an invisible, powerful force in our universe responsible for untold destruction throughout the cosmos. But they're not only bringers of doom, a fascinating new discovery has found that they may be triggering new star formation. What does this mean for our understanding of black holes, and what could this tell us about the origins of the universe? You're watching Matter, and today we're looking into how black holes may be giving birth to stars. Black holes are a region of space where matter has condensed to such a high density that the gravity at its surface, the surface gravity, is so high that you cannot escape it, even at the speed of light. You are forever trapped. When most people think about black holes, they imagine a super dense object that has an immense gravitational pull that doesn't allow anything to escape its pull. They are usually thought of as one of the most destructive objects out in the universe, consuming everything, including light if it gets too close. Black holes are often found in the center of galaxies and help keep their structure together while they can feed off the massive clouds of gas and dust surrounding them. Astronomers have found that black holes range widely in size, with some equaling the mass of only a few of our suns, all the way to the mass of billions of suns. It turns out that there are only three quantities that define a black hole its electric charge, its mass, and its spin. A black hole of a certain mass, charge, and spin is indistinguishable from any other black hole with those same properties. So in some sense, they're like fundamental particles. In 2011, a graduate student discovered a black hole in the center of a young galaxy named Heinz 210, located in the constellation of Pyxis. This galaxy was a dwarf, starburst galaxy and is growing at a rate of a thousand times faster than the normal rate that astronomers expect. Starburst is the descriptor that astronomers give to galaxies that experience star formation at a faster rate than the average. They noticed that this galaxy was behaving in some strange ways, but with the galaxy over 30 million light years away, most instruments can't get a good image of it. It wasn't until the Hubble Space Telescope was able to take a look at this galaxy in 2021 before astronomers knew why this galaxy was so odd. Once the Hubble Telescope was able to take a closer look at Heinz 210, it discovered something that astronomers were not expecting to see. The black hole was giving birth to stars. The images that Hubble was able to capture of this galaxy clearly shows a massive stellar nursery in the gaseous matter surrounding the black hole. When this discovery was made, the goal quickly shifted from trying to figure out what was going on in Heinz 210 to attempting to come up with an explanation for why this was happening. In the image that Hubble picked up, astronomers could see that there was a massive outflow of material coming out of the black hole at speeds close to 1.6 million kilometers an hour. This stream of ionized gas covers a region of the galaxy over 500 light years long and punches deep into the cocoon of dust and gas that surrounds it. Astronomers know that black holes can expel gas as well as draw it in, but most of these expulsions come in the form of super hot plasma jets, and not the ionized gas that was detected from this black hole. The outflow from black holes is understood to form when gas falling in gets redirected into massive jets blasting out of the poles of the black hole. These blasts of energetic gas from the average sized black hole travel extremely fast, close to the speed of light. But the black hole in the center of Heinz 210 is smaller than most and its outflow travels much slower. Could this slower moving jet of gas hold the keys to this mystery? When we learn about black holes in school, predominantly through star collapse, yeah. I didn't even realize that there was an alternate route to creating a black hole. As matter flows out of the black hole, it blasts into the massive cloud of dust and gas in the surrounding area and the formation of new stars seems to follow. Looking at the image Hubble captured of this galaxy, we can see the formation of new stars all along the path of the outflow. One theory regarding the creation of this stellar nursery states that the outflow from this black hole is able to aid in the formation of stars because of its slower speed. There are thousands of stars being formed in Heinz 210, and the galaxy now shows signs of slowing down its production. Astronomers have never been able to take a close look at such a small and young galaxy before, and being able to study the birth of these new stars may lead to better understanding on how stars form. This may also lead astronomers to help further their theories regarding the formation of stars and the galaxies they reside in. There is still a lot that astronomers have yet to learn about in the formation of stars and the conditions that lead to it. 
The prevailing belief is that the massive clouds of gas and dust start to clump and collect together until it becomes dense enough to begin the process of nuclear fusion in its core. Once this nuclear fusion begins, the star can continue to feed off the surrounding clouds of matter and grow in size. After the star has absorbed as much as it can, the remaining dust and gas will form a ring orbiting the star and can lead to the formation of planets and moon, creating a planetary system. But why haven't astronomers seen this in other galaxies? Well, many galaxies formed a long time ago and it has proven hard for astronomers to find many galaxies that are still in the early days of forming. Most galaxies that are seen today have a large black hole in their center and many of them surround supermassive black holes. These black holes are only known to emit matter when they blast off massive jets of plasma which travel close to the speed of light and are far too energetic to allow the formation of stars. Will the black hole in Heinz 210 stop forming new stars someday? There is still much that is unknown about black holes, and having this be the first black hole to be discovered forming new stars, there can only be speculation at this point in regards to Heinz 210's future. Perhaps when the black hole has birthed enough stars to fill the galaxy, it may stop emitting giant streams of gas and return to feeding off surrounding matter, leaving Heinz 210 to behave much like other galaxies that we see. Could this just be one step in many that many galaxies have taken in its lifetime? And that's not even the worst part. The worst part is you are funneled, extruded through the fabric of space-time so that you used to be this wide, now you're this narrow. And so this phenomenon, this, this extrusion like toothpaste through a tube, we have a word for it. Death by black hole is called spaghettification. The whole role that black holes play in the universe is still being debated today in the world of astronomy. We know that there are massive black holes in the center of virtually every galaxy, but no one is sure how they got there in the first place. A number of astronomers believe that supermassive black holes are formed when smaller black holes absorb enough matter, so the supermassive black holes that exist today may have been much smaller in their earlier days and only grew to become the master of galaxies after absorbing enough mass. But there are also scientists who think that the supermassive black holes could have only been formed in the condition of the early universe. They may have trapped stars as they moved through the cosmos until they grew to the massive galaxies and spread throughout the universe today. But regardless of how they form, black holes do have an important role in the universe and by studying Heinz 210, astronomers are hoping to answer many questions. The idea that black holes have a larger role in the universe and may give birth to galaxies has been around for a number of years. And now that astronomers can study a cellar nursery powered by a black hole up close, many questions may soon be answered. Do you think black holes play a bigger role in the universe than they are currently believed to? Thanks for watching. See you next time on Matter.